Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Wind Waker HD. And now I think I can actually take out... No, I can't. Okay. This is a Beemos. This is what they look like in this game, at least. They can laser me, which is painful because I can't run extremely fast, apparently. But we also need to take these statues to the other side of the room. Quickly and carefully around the outside, probably. Drop that there. Let's grab a second one. Quickly and carefully, quickly and carefully. Cool. Just gonna pop that on the other switch. Pop that on the other switch, don't turn around. There we go, and last one with myself. And this should just stay activated. Nice. And now we have these platforms going up and down, which will allow us to progress forward. And also, there's something else we can do here, hopefully. As we go forward. And I think... Yes, there's another platform up here. I want to place a bomb on it and run. Because by blowing up there, it actually makes a chest appear. Now this is a special chest because this is kind of optional. But also, I'm probably going to do them all anyway. Just because that's how I am after doing randomizers. Because this is a tingle chest. Giving us... The Goddess Tingle Statue. Why is it called a Goddess Tingle Statue? I don't know. But anyway, its salty sea water coating is kind of gross. It will be waiting waiting for you on a Tingle Island. Cool, so we'll have to go to Tingle Island to see more of that, I guess. But yes, we need to get a few more of those in different dungeons. Even the dungeons that we've already been to. Now, is there anything... I guess there's only one door open, so let's go that way. It's also glowing, so that's something. It's something. I think I actually also want my grappling hook out, possibly. Oh, hello. Ah! How did I do that? I dropped a bomb and then... exploded. Huh. I mean, that makes sense, but also, I dropped a bomb... And then st stabbed, and then we both exploded. I don't know. I pressed a button and everything. I don't even know I pressed a button, but anyway. Seeker of the Goddesses. Guidepost. Press uh, ZR to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Okay. Press ZR next to this platform thing so that the statue will hear us, I guess. And now... We can pick it up, but it also follows us, so... That's also a thing. I think, actually... I think I can also, though, throw... No, I can't. Okay. I thought I could throw it up there, but I guess not. Okay. Just need to make it follow me and not fall into the pit. All the way up this way. And now, if I'm not wrong, I can pick this up. And I can actually jump across here without falling off while carrying the statue. So let's get this back to the middle room now. Quickly and carefully, quickly and carefully, quickly and carefully. Oh my goodness. Let's go. And that gives us something quite interesting. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. And it's also four directions, so let's copy that. I can't actually see it from here, but I know what it is. Hang on. Hang on, come on. Really? Really? So we have to hold to the right, no, the left, to make it come on time. And then we need to copy that. You learned the command melody. 
And now we can continue. My kin wait beyond the doors, control them and guide them to their places of truth, to open the path to the gods. And now that's gone forever. Just because. But yes, we have a new melody to conduct with the Wind Waker. Okay, oh my goodness. Um... Maybe I don't have to fight them? <laughs> maybe? That's a little hopeful. Swing. Swing. That's a bad idea. There I go. I don't think I can take out the bubbles though. Oh, hello. I can't. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Blow you with the leaf and then stab you. Okay, good. Uh, I wish I could not be like this. Does that just stun you and then drop you in the pit and that you dead? I think it's dead. Cool. Let's get out of here. Also, let's be a little bit smarter. I don't know if I can swing across this in one go. I can, apparently. Which is good, but I, I thought I had to switch over there and then go around. But nope, it's okay. Uh, let's swing across here. And call the statue, but how are we going to get it across? Because there's a giant pit and it can't swing with us. As cool as that would be, to swing while holding a statue. Uh, let's... I can't tell you to stay, can I? No, but I can probably drop you and then you'll stay, right? Yeah. We can stand on the switch, though. Which will make a magical rainbow bridge. It's a rainbow road. Uh, and let's use our Wind Waker to use the command melody. And now we are controlling the statue, which looks a little weird when we turn, but that's okay. But now we can make it go across this bridge. By itself. And just leave it over there for us to pick up by pressing ZR to cancel out of it, so. There we go. Let's swing across here. And let's go into the next room. We also have another pit though, so we can't get across that easily. So let's just pop, pop that over there. And now we can get into that room there. What is happening? Why am I hearing, why am I feeling rumbles? That was weird. Oh, hey. Link, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. How do you know these things? But do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this, I assure you. Cool, so I can leave this thing here and I can actually just go into the room that it opened for me. Let go. Cool. Let's grab a rupee, apparently. Because I'm that desperate for rupees. Oh my goodness. It's time for the mid-boss. This is a dark nut. They are primary combat-based enemies, which we will see more of. Just a few more. Uh, and they also have knight Knight's Crests for us to get, so let's grab that. And that's why the Knight's Crests are so important, because they show that you've defeated these things before. Which is weird to just have them laying around in treasure chests and, or in pots, but still. We can also take its weapon as well, once it's dropped. But the thing you want to start off with is by doing is uh, destroying its armor by uh, countering its attacks. Take that and you're done. Oh my goodness, it's so strong. But yeah, so press A when you're being about to be attacked and you can destroy its armor basically. You have to swing over its head to actually um, 
destroy its helmet though. But then once you're behind it, you can just break the rest of its armor, just normally. We can also use a sword to break down these pillars, which is cool. Just some hearts. You can also throw it, but same rules apply to the sword as other weapons that enemies drop. We can't take it out of this room, sadly. But let's see what we get. We get the hero's bow. Set it to whatever and then use it with the button you've set it to. Hold the button to knock an arrow and release the button to shoot. You can carry up to 30 arrows. Cool, so we have a new weapon, which is good, because we're going to need it immediately as well, so. This is going to make killing bubbles a lot easier, because we can just shoot them, as long as we aim correctly. But we can also shoot this eye here to activate some platforms for us. Now, I don't think those are going to come over here, so I'm going to switch this, this around. Also, just to point out why I'm setting switching between uh, items on the right button is because it's a lot easier to press the right button and then aim around. I feel like you should be able to aim around with the left stick, but you can't for some reason. Um, but yeah, it's a lot easier to turn where, where I'm looking. Ah! <gasps> Really? Really? Really, game? You just gonna do that to me? Because you have to use the the right stick, I'm pretty sure, to actually aim, which is a little bit weird. But if you're trying to use the X or Y buttons, it's just ab an absolute nightmare trying to aim with the stick on that side as well as holding down the button. Unless you don't need to hold down the button. I might be crazy. That might just be it. Also, those statues that were left to right of us actually just came to life. So I should probably actually show what those those are like. But we'll, we'll, we'll find more of those around the world. But anyway, that's a second statue. But also, I want to backtrack, I think. Slightly. Just slightly. Also, what do these pots have? Arrows? That's good. We can now get those from pots or possibly even... Oh my goodness. Possibly even other things. Now, how well does this work? That works quite well. Also, that's a whiz robe over there. Shooting fire at us. And I think... No, that's not going to come to life. Which is probably okay. Okay, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. But we can take out this whiz robe with our arrows to make it easy enough because it's going to be far away from us usually. But now, I also want to shoot... Oh my goodness, I really should just set this to the other button. This is okay. Please hit the switch, thank you. Let's jump across. Let's go up from here into another side room. This is optional, I'm pretty sure. Can't remember exactly, but still. Oh my goodness. Hello. Let's get out some bombs. And also, I don't think we're supposed to be here for ages, possibly. But we have these guys who we need to put bombs in their mouths and avoid them from attacking us. And then they'll just explode. They're kind of annoying, though. Okay. Anyway, let's get the orbs that they dropped. Nothing really important, just lots of arrows and bombs. A few rupees, a few hearts. Now, what is this? We get a joy pendant. Okay, so it's not its not actually that bad to come here, but it's, it's not really that important to get that. Now, is the platform going to be there? Yes, it is. Makes things a little bit easier for me. Oh my goodness, they came to life again and I didn't see it. Let me actually go see that. Because they're very similar to the things that we just fought. These things. 
they will run towards you. You can attack them from behind. Or you can also stun them by shooting them in the eye. Ah! But if you hit any other part of them, you get knocked back a little bit, which is annoying. Once you've done enough damage to them, they will spin in their last desperate effort to get you. That's basically what they're like. I can't remember what those are actually called. For some reason. Amos. That's what they're called. Amos. But anyway, we need to backtrack even further because there's that one chest in the dungeon we saw earlier that we could not get. And also, while we're here, I'm going to switch this to the other button because I need to. I physically need to. We can also destroy... Beemos by shooting them. So that's cool. It works out quite well for me. In boat. I wish I could just sail through this wall. That would make so much more sense. Than having to go up and down with the water. Beyond this place, you must do battle with the power of the gods, but even as you do. So, you must also borrow that power. Okay. I'm lucky to have grabbed onto that thing when I did. But anyway, let's go into here. Because there's another eye switch in here that you couldn't get before. Which opens up this back chest for us, so. Let's get rid of that bubble. And let's get this. A treasure chart. Very nice. Oh my goodness, Amos. Oh my goodness, Amos. Ow. Well, there's that one. And that one. Didn't need to, def to defeat them, but still. Gonna grab that heart, please. Thank you. It's so nice being able to take out these chews so quickly. Except it's wasting arrows, and I only can hold up to 30 arrows, so... But if it's anything like the bombs, then we'll, we'll be fine. Okay, sail, 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 sail. Quick, 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 quick. I'm not gonna get there in time, am I? It's never gonna work out, please. Blink. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Okay. Well then, let's keep on a going. Get rid of that. Since that seems to respawn. Okay. This is nice and chill now. And I think we only have a few more other items to get on this floor. Nothing on the sides of the dungeon that we've done before, so we can actually just progress normally from this point on, which is good. Oh, I need to jump off quick. I almost didn't, but it's okay. Okay, let's get the last statue. Oh, this place is a place. But also, I need to weigh this down. Oh, Keith, you're not helping. Just gonna blow us up together. Okay, now. Nope, not quite. Hey, Keith, you probably didn't learn from the last, last Keith's mistake. Oh, I didn't learn from my mistake either. Let me go over here into this room before doing anything else, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not at this point? Anyway. Ah, uh, don't fall like that, please, Link. I would like you to jump! Jump, Link! Okay, I also want to probably shoot this eye. Also this bubble. Oh my goodness, on fire. Okay, that activates that platform, going up and down. Um, there's a few treasure chests in here. Let's get onto that platform. Hey, arrow. 
Okay, treasure chest number one. Here's a small key, so we needed that. Cool. And going up further still is another bubble. So let's get rid of that, if I can actually hit it. It's hard to see it through the the fire particles. Also hit that switch over there to activate the other chest so that we can actually collect it when we get over there. And let's get it. Pretty sure this is the only other tree chest to get, so we're doing good. I might check what's in the pots down there, though. Please, grab. Joy pendant, okay. Um, let's jump down. That was a bad move, it's fine. It's gonna teleport me back to the door, so. Speedrun strats, kind of, not really. I'm gonna ignore what else, whatever else was in there. Man, keys are kind of annoying. <laughs> but now, I want to... way down this side with that thing there, so I don't have to worry about that as much. Keys, you're really not learning. Please, get the keys. Thank you. Let's see if I can actually time this better. Nope, apparently not. It's fine, I have 99 tries. What happens if I just... Okay, cool. <laughs> I was hoping that that would work a lot more than that, but I guess not. I'm just gonna time it perfectly instead. More bombs, more arrows. Just what I need. Also, more giant armors. Which I guess aren't alive? Cool. Let's play or we'll check this. Designs that reflect wind are drawn here. Well then let's stand here and do Uh what's it called? I can't actually remember what it's called. We just need to change the wind here. And it makes a special treasure chest appear. We get a treasure chart. Cool. Uh, giant Amos. Please land in there. Nope. Ran out of time. Just need a dodge. Throw a bomb in there. And we are good. Oh my goodness, they can destroy the pillars. That's cool. Okay, orb. Stuff that I don't really need, apparently. Second orb. A few more rupees, but not... Not enough. <laughs> More bombs and arrows that I don't need. Okay. Let's keep going. This is a long dungeon, apparently. But we need to put one of these there. But also, that's not going to be good enough because when we step into the other platform, it's going to get weighed down. So let's put another one on, on there. Which means we can just jump across like this. Without having to worry about it balancing out. Perfectly, because Link is apparently very heavy. As heavy as this one of those statues. But let's keep going. I mean, he can pick them up, so I guess he should be able to do it. Now, what happens if I press that? That activates that laser beam gate thing. But also... If I step off of that, that's going to reactivate. I feel like I've never done this puzzle correctly. Uh, I think what I'm supposed to do is leaf. Probably. Yeah, cool. The one time you need to use leaf. Let's call the statue though. And now we need to get out of here again since there's a laser gate. But we can do that because we can use the command melody. And this statue can go right through the laser. As all statues should, really. Okay, let's take that and let's go. 
But now comes the fun part of this room. Oh my goodness. Also... Also whiz rub. The fun part of this room... Is... Dodging the... Whiz rub. Oh, hello. Get out of here, please. You're really not learning. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Uh, now we get to weigh down one side a lot more than the other because the statue actually weighs down the thing. Which means I think we need at least three statues on the other side. If I'm correct. Which would be incredible. Because that means that there's just one statue that you don't need to put on the, the weight. Yeah, that's weird. I would have thought that you'd need all four, but no, you just need three. I guess they wanted to make it even. Anyway. There we go. Just gonna double check the map to make sure I've got everything here. Yep. So let's go into the light. Taking us up to the next level. Now let's get rid of this Beemos before it annoys me. And let's figure out what we need to do here. We have the boss key chest there. We need some statues, which is lucky lucky for us because there's actually statues in here. Oh, hey, yellow rupee. That's good. Better than a blue rupee. Better than a green rupee. Better than just refills that I don't need. But anyway, getting rid of those Beemos makes it a lot easier to get through here. Because we don't have to worry about them hitting us while we're carrying these statues around. Now, is there anything? There's one chest here, and that's it. Cool. Remember, at the end of this dungeon. Let's hit that. And we can get the key. There we go, big key. Gain entrance to where the dungeon boss lurks. And of course, these... Uh, armors come to life and the door's locked, so we can't get out. So we have to actually take out these... Amos. Ow. Amos are not fun, especially when there's multiple of them. That's kind of the point of game design, is to make them multiple so that they're annoying. Okay, door opens, and let's go. Oh, and there's also... The things here. Let me... Let me do something with that. We are so high up right now. Can you...? No, apparently not. But anyway, these blue beamos always shoot on the line that they are looking at. So we do have to take these out before we can actually continue. Oh hey! Nice of you to come down here. Well, so what happens if I shoot you? You just die, cool. Good to know. Oh, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart. I can't aim with the boomerang on the X button. Let's get rid of you. Actually, maybe... No, I can. I'm just crazy. You can actually just press the button instead of holding it down. Ah! I forgot that you're a, a pink laser beams os. Also, I can target these things, which makes it a lot easier. Well, hello. Let me grab that, please. And get rid of you. Thank you. I think you have to hold down the button on the the bow, though. Um, I don't need a fairy, but I will just grab it, I guess. And let's go forth. Just a few more uh, extra refills. Another fairy. Uh, let's get up bombs. Have our arrows set to R. 
And let's go. You have done well to find your way to this place, O oh, Chosen One. Accept this final challenge. Okay, so here's the boss who lets shoot its hands in the eyes. Ah, careful not to get grabbed. How do I do that? And once the hands are stunned, we can just shoot it in its eyes, if we actually can hit it properly. Okay, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh dear. Dodge the attacks. Okay, hit you in the eye, hit you in the other eye. Okay, now it's completely stunned. Let's throw a bomb in its mouth. It's not worth using Grandma's soup, but it's still good to have it, so just on hand if you need to heal. I don't want to turn around. Shoot you in the hand. Okay, eye time. Please, thank you. Dodge the laser balls. Also, I don't think you want to leave the ring, because if you fall out of the ring, I think you get hurt, so... Throw another bomb in there. Yeah, that looks like a bad place to be! Ah, bad place to be! Bad place, bad place, bad, bad, bad place. Okay, I'm gonna run out of arrows in a second here. Which is not good, but also, if you do run out of arrows, the boss just sneezes some out for you, which is nice of it. Okay, hold that hand. Okay, eye time, please. It's very lucky that the boss gives you refills if you need it. I'm assuming it would also give you bombs if you ran out of bombs as well. Because you need those two items to get through. Okay, bomb in your mouth. And just like any classic Nintendo hands and face boss. The path can now be opened. He dies in three hits. Oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your- Ah, it's gone. Go forth with caution. It's tied to your fate, probably. Okay, now be very careful not to touch the light, and grab the heart container. And now let's go into the light. You have done well, Link. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you see shimmer shimmering in the waves before you. Your true trial will begin. 
Are you ready, Link?